Hi, welcome to Preview Pad. This is Rahul Laurel and welcome to the House of Laurel. I think we were the first people in Publishon, uh, the first creatives, and from there we sort of like grew our space. So we've been here quite some time, 25 years. When I began, it was really an old house, and we tore it down and we created this space. My inspiration really was almost like a laboratory, so I wanted something really pristine and white, almost like a gallery space, but also like a place where there's a lot of freedom to express ourselves and to create and to think and to have that fundamental joy of just creating things. As I said, the evolution of this workspace from where it began was this was an old house with lots of rooms and lots of dark uh, corners. We essentially just wanted to bring in the light and we wanted to sort of like make the space more I, um, I guess more free, like I wanted to sort of like have the double ceilings, I wanted to sort of like have a lot of breathing space and from there we sort of like developed it based on the needs of uh, my work. So when we call this the House of Laurel, it's literally houses because everything has a room. So this is the showroom, essentially this is where you see all the collection per season. This is the area also where it greets you. So we have lots of merchandise all around showcasing what we wanted to express during the season. Essentially the collection is called Paradiso. It's an homage to all the wonderful places that we will experience and all what we yearn to, to, to go to after the pandemic, which essentially is happening now. So this is sort of like my uh, desire to dress up all my clients as they travel the world. So this is our waiting room and we'll lounge here, wait here. Lots of magazines for them to read and they're also an opportunity to share some merchandise with them. We have our candles which do very well. We also have our little gift pouches that as they wait they can browse. Um, behind the camera we have also samples of our pillows which we've created during the pandemic and we're still doing now because they're very very popular. So essentially this is where the clients can wait in peace and also a chance for them to sort of like breathe in a bit and then move on to, to meet me and to meet the rest of my team. Also, my uh, Hello Kitty collab is in this room. I was asked to do a Hello Kitty collaboration a few years ago, so we still have samples. So we have mementos of, again, past, future, and present works that wait. So your eyes are also being fed while you're waiting. We are in the creative studio. So this is where we do all our prep work for the entire collection. So we're shooting some merchandise for our website. And as you can see, this is really where the team buckles up and do our work. This is also where we prepare for future collections. So at the moment, we're in the thick of prep in preparation for our holiday collection, which you are going to be seeing on our walls. Hi, welcome to my studio and this is where the magic happens. So I love it here because the light's very good and this is where I actually drape and cut and experiment and work on projects for both custom and the ready-to-wear collections. So I love it here primarily because it's very quiet, it's very serene and I can really think. So this is my desk and this is where I uh, meet with clients and work on my computer and do my accounting <laughs> and everything else. So this is essentially where I'm at the longest every, every day. Okay, so behind me is technically like a mood board but changes constantly. I just sort of like, like to stick things up behind me so that it reminds me of the colors that I want to use. So technically this whole thing is perhaps the color direction of what's happening in our holiday collection and at the end of the year. I use this as a, a reminder of what colors I like or what shapes I like and from there we, we proceed. It's a place where you can truly express yourself, myself, as a creative, as a designer. I have a lot of freedom here because essentially it's ours. So I'm not boxed in, so to speak. 
So every collection we try to sort of create a, a brand new experience for the client. So each collection we try to move things around and uh, paint the walls or decorate the space. So it's an exciting uh, little corner of Manila that just evolves with everything that I think about. I'd like to describe this space to anybody who has never been as something that's tranquil and peaceful, especially for clients. We try to make them as comfortable as possible, primarily because this is a place where a lot of the insecurities of clients or people are actually expressed. I always tell myself and to to people who ask me what do I do apart from you know obvi the obvious of being a designer. I'm really in the business of creating armor and making people more confident. And before I am able to do that, we break down the insecurities of people. And you need to be in a very comfortable and safe environment to be able to do this. In order to do my job properly, I have to zero in on what you are actually insecure about and then from there I build that security I build that confidence you're in my library this is where I do a lot of my research. Yes, kids, I still read books, and I think it's so important that we read books and we are tangible with all our research. Uh, this is where I um, store most of my design books and my magazines, and um, I come here to uh, read and research. Um, this is also where I store most of my notebooks and my scrapbooks, which I've done since I was maybe 12, 13 years old. So everything's here. So uh, essentially, this is naman my, if the studio is the public space, this is uh, my personal space. A lot of the the stuff around it is really mementos from travels. I, I love to travel, so these are little, um, essentially, pieces of memories from travels and adventures that will sort of like, perhaps inspire me later on. So when you look around, you'll see pieces from my trips to Russia, Africa, Asia, all over that we've been and the little things that I've sort of like tucked away. So you can say that this is sort of like a um, an actual curio cabinet of sorts of the things that I love and uh, the things that intrigue me and the things that I find fascinating. I wish somebody told me it wouldn't cost so much. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the reality is in order for something to last and to really um, stand the test of time, quality costs money and um, there's no way around that. However, um, knowing what I know now, I wish I bought more properties 25 years ago around the area when it was still so much more affordable because right now it's kind of steep in Poblacion, but that's hindsight. But I'm very fortunate I was able to actually work with people that I trust and people that really guided me to where this space is. And I'm very grateful that I have it because it's ours, it's mine. So I'm, I'm grateful that I have this and I'm grateful that I have this space. For all of you who want their own creative space, my top three tips is number one, go for the light. For me as a creative designer, as a designer, light is so important. It, you can see colors more, you can really see your work more, so go where there's natural light. Number two, get as much space as you possibly can afford. Space is so important because when you're creating things, you want to sort of like have that absolute freedom of being able to breathe. It's very, very difficult to create when you're cramped. And the third tip is make it as personal as possible. Primarily because you are going to be probably going to be working in your creative space for 
10 hours on average a day. And if you're anything like me, for the last 25 years, I was literally living in my space from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening, sometimes even more. You'll be working there, so you have to be happy in that space. So fill it with objects that give you inspiration and give you joy and give you peace. And um, once you have those three, let the creative juices flow and um, see and, and express and experience the, the magic of creativity. Okay, so that's the end of the tour. Thank you for visiting. Thank you, Preview, for the opportunity of coming to my studio. And please follow all their channels on social media. And also follow me, Rahul Aurel, on Instagram and everywhere else. See you guys.